Heart Fear Society is a home for all of us who take care of patients who have heart failure, are at risk for heart failure, and it's a place where we learn, but also a place where we feel that we belong and we have connections that really matter. It's huge. Um, you come here to reconnect with old colleagues, to meet new people, to connect with people about new ideas you want to pursue, and frankly, to get advice from people. Uh, and that's one of the best parts of the meeting. This is where all of the people sort of in the country and around the world come and meet together to talk about heart failure, something we're all passionate about, but also to reconnect with our colleagues who really care deeply about the care of patients with heart failure and about each other. The annual event where we bring together physicians, advanced practice providers, nurses, pharmacists, administrators, industry personnel, all of the people who take care of patients who have advanced heart failure. It gives me the opportunity to hear about new science um, and to hear about exciting innovations going on in the field. So we talk about the latest research, we talk about what's going on in the medical centers, um, just kind of catch up with old friends, make new friends, um, and just hear about the latest science, all in the hopes of taking it back to our patients and helping us take care of them better in the future. It's restorative. It's therapeutic to be here, to connect with each other. We all sort of quickly really adapted and we're really just really excited to see each other in person again. Um, I think the energy sort of surrounding reconnecting and being with each other in person is really, I can't describe it. And everyone is just fired up. We're seeing people we haven't seen in a year and a half or two years. I think we're all excited to see each other again. Uh, we're excited to make a difference in people's lives. The education here is really based on all those people who touch heart failure in their careers. It's the physicians, it's the nurses, the pharmacists, and it is so important for us all to be able to learn together. Hearing from the experts, going through some of the data and detail uh, is something that you're offered when you're at the meeting, and uh, it's been a great experience. All the workshops are phenomenal, very educational. Uh, there is so much more science discussed. Now, nowadays, there's so many papers that come out. It's tough to keep up with science like when you're not actively in such meetings. We're all learning all the time. It's what makes uh, being a, an advanced heart flyer physician exciting. There's really nothing like face-to-face -face interaction. You can sit behind a computer screen and phase out, but when you're actually with someone and you're seeing their body language, you're making eye contact with them, it just makes more of an impact than sitting behind a computer screen. It's the place to come for cutting edge science, advocacy for the care of heart failure patients, and connecting with the people and your colleagues in the field who really matter. If you want to feel like you're up to date and you know what's been happening during the year, if you're like me, you can never keep up with all the journals, but you'll come here and you'll feel like you're getting what you really need to know. And especially come here if you want to feel that you have a home to come to. It is most essential for you to be present in the meeting, not only for the content, you can get the content from anywhere, but for actually having an interaction with some of the soul birds of heart failure. So I've been coming for 15 years in a row um, and uh, I wouldn't miss it. See you in 2022, you cannot miss the session. Heart Failure Society of America Annual Scientific Meeting 2022 in Washington, D.C. I hope to see you there.